We're here again with the Match Review Committee Coordinator, Mick Butner. Mick, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, after round 17, there's been four charges from the Match Review Committee and uh, the Broncos have submitted an early guilty plea for Josh Maguire. Yeah, they have. You can see the incident here. Josh Maguire, grade one dangerous throw for his lift and tackle on uh, Dale Finucane. And as you can see from the incident here, uh, there was the elevation, uh, the head below the hips, and there was certainly no arresting uh, from Josh Maguire in relation to this tackle. Uh, we did note uh, whether there was any head contact and uh, we deemed that that wasn't the case. Uh, it sits well within the grade one category uh, for a dangerous throw. Okay, and Josh won't miss a match. He'll be right for origin selection uh, and he will have those 93 carryover points though um, on his record. Uh, another couple of charges out of yesterday's Raiders Knights match? Yeah, there certainly was. We had two incidents. Uh, the first one being Kurt Baptiste, the uh, Raiders hooker, for a grade one dangerous throw on Newcastle winger Nathan Ross. And the second incident uh, involved the uh, Raiders lock, Luke Bateman. Uh, and this was a grade one dangerous contact head and neck for his crusher type tackle on uh, Knights back rower Daniel Safidi. Okay, and Kurt actually has a clean record, so he'll be okay to play the Cowboys this weekend, which is a crucial match for the Raiders. Uh, Luke, not so lucky though, he has a 50% loading from a prior similar offence, so he's likely to miss one match unless, of course, he fights his charge at the judiciary and is successful. That's right, Amy. So, uh, and the final charge was for Josh Alloway from the West Tigers. He was a grade one trip for his actions off the ball. Uh, you can see the incident here, uh, a tripping action. So uh, a grade one trip applicable there for Josh Alloway and uh, I, he won't miss any games with an early plea. That's right, he'll be ready for round 18, I'm sure. Um, and lastly, a couple of topical ones. Uh, the Warriors, Ken Malolo, he's received uh, a concerning act from the match review committee. Yeah, there was a, a few incidents throughout the game. You can see him uh, running towards the defensive line here uh, with a raised knee. Certainly uh, not his normal running gait. Uh, and if obviously that makes any contact to a defender, then it could, could cause some uh, serious injuries. So, uh, it's important we bring this uh, to the attention of the coaching staff who will then pass that information on to Ken Mamolo uh, and hopefully uh, we won't see uh, any further action required. Okay, and uh, also the Sharks and Captain Paul Gallen, he'll be hearing from the Match Review Committee. Yeah, this will just be an informal warning to Coach Shane Flanagan. Um, we'll give him a buzz tomorrow and discuss uh, this issue here. You can see uh, Paul Gallen making contact with Isaac de Goyce. The Pass had well and truly gone. He pulled him down to the ground and uh, certainly an unnecessary act and uh, one that will bring to their attention uh, and hopefully they can pass that information on to Paul. Okay, well thanks for joining us, Mick. Thanks, Amy.